Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Tuga Power ROM version 7 for the OnePlus 3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Tuga Power ROM, now it has been around for some time now at least on the OnePlus One space and it has become one of the most favorite ROM for OnePlus One users because it is a very very stable ROM, it has a really good performance and that is amazing. So let's get started on the ROM on the OnePlus 3. Now this is not my first uh, outing with the uh, Tugapa ROM, I did install this, I did flash this on version 4, up to version 4, then I just waited for it to have a stable release because all of them though stable enough there were micro improvements uh, throughout and they had made enough of uh, new releases that i wanted to get the newest release but even now this is version 7 there is 7.1 available right now so i'm just going to uh, give you my opinion on this one so let's get started now first of all in the settings menu you can see in the about phone page it is tilka power rom based on lineage os so that is the latest one by this guy is a developer it does have a uh, banner there now this does have ota updates so that is going to be of a very good importance to many people um, it does work out very well again uh, being a very frequently updated rom you are going to have a lot of uh, ot updates here and that does work out really well for most people and the kernel version is 3.18.47 lineage os so that is there customized by tuga power so that is also available build number is one long string uh, android security patches is january 5 security patches uh, it does have Android version 7.1.1, so that's the latest one. LineageOS version is still unofficial, but uh, that is, I guess, it's going to ch change uh, soon enough. SLN status is permissive. With this ROM, what I have want to say is that there is no specialized menu for you to customize stuff like that. The Everything is built into it. Display options has uh, all of these. That it does have live display. It does work out very well. It does have ambient display. You, it also works out very well. Um, I don't really have much complaints about it. Font size and display size is also available in typical Nogad fashion. That is amazing. Uh, sound options are available with increasing ringtones. All of that is available with other sounds and launch uh, music player when connecting the headphone so that's also available battery life now this is a stock based rom uh, at least stock lineage os based rom so lineage os battery life is pretty much reflected in this one i didn't have any better performance or better battery life with this one but i did get a good enough battery life which i would consider uh, adequate for my usage at the end of the day i get about 20 percent of battery life which is pretty good um, i get the same with resurrection remix also although this doesn't have that much features so that's just there now apart from that it does have button customization which is in typical lineage os fashion so you do have a power power button customization home button customization for long press double tap also recent uh, button customization for long press so that is also available volume button customization for controlling mu music and also keyboard cursor control is available now gesture control there is a string on the xda forums which says that you have to flash or you have to restore data from your previous rom to get this thing to work uh, which i feel is a little absurd because uh, there are other roms which are able to get that working without jumping through hoops but this doesn't have that so i'm gonna still call it a bug this doesn't work even the guest the alert slider does not work so that is also something which they say is going to be fixed when you restore data from t uh, twrp i didn't do that because i feel that's too much of a chore to do for most people so yeah additional buttons is available but this thing does not work swap button does work out if you are someone who uses uh, some other layout rather than the normal one plus one security options does have all of these options uh, it does have blur background if you want to enable that show weather is also available if you want weather on the lock screen in ambient display or anything of that sort that is available it does work out very well now privacy settings it does have protected applications and privacy guard now i don't use protected apps but hey it is available if you are someone who wants to use fingerprint to lock certain applications it is available apart from that status bar is where you will find most of the stuff uh, clock position can be customized to center right or left AMPM indicator can be small or hidden 
uh, battery status style can be customized you do have few options here battery percentage can be inside the icon or outside the icon brightness control quick pull down is also available and double tap to sleep so this is it with the uh, optional settings menu so not the most feature heavy rom it does have a few stuff which i am interested in though so it does have micro g so what that means if you are someone who does not use uh play store play services or play store you still can use google applications like keep like gmail without relying on play services so that's going to be a bit more secure you are not giving away your data to google uh, more than you want to so that is also something there also it has the tuga power browser which is pretty cool uh, which uh, replaces the jello mod which is available with uh, other roms uh, like uh, lineage os you do have that it works out pretty well i'm not going to comment too much on that because i personally do not use this i personally use opera mini for all my browsing needs so that is available um this does have a privacy protector and also ad blocker so some someone uh, if you want to use that it is available that is pretty cool uh apart from that it does have a partial screenshot option which is pretty cool if you long press you have to enable screenshot from power menu and then when you go for that you have to long press on the screenshot to get partial screenshot if you want that if not well you can just uh, take a full screen screenshot and that will be it so that's also available there is a choice for you that is amazing apart from that there are these little changes which you can read in the xda forum uh, which i will be linking in the de description below so that is also there let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for tuga power rom and that is one hell of a boot animation it's pretty amazing it does get a lot of work and attention from many people so that's pretty cool so yeah that is pretty much it about the rom now um i have used this for about two days and i don't really have an issue with this yet uh camera again is going to be similar to what you'd expect in a lineage os rom nothing special here but uh it's it's okay i i i can uh get that working um it also has wiper for our eyes which is an amazing equalization tool it does work out very well i do use that from time to time with my bluetooth headset it does work out i really do appreciate that it comes pre-installed and also super suit does come uh pre-installed you don't have to flash anything other than g apps if you are someone who uses google application so that is also there so yeah i guess that should be it about the rom in conclusion it is an amazingly stable and a really good performance based rom now the end to benchmark score is about 150,000, which is normal for a lineage os based rom so nothing special there and uh yeah it does perform very well it doesn't have all the features which i personally would like so i won't be using it as a daily driver uh that's why it's still reserved for certain remix and uh it is stable enough for you to not worry about anything else so that does work out pretty well so yeah i guess that much is it about the roms i hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye